Uh, we have just shot World War II episode 131. 131 weeks. Can you believe that? That's a heck of a lot of weeks of the war. The monotony of the war. Well, it's February 27, 1942. And although I had to jump a day or two in the future, I cover, really covered the Battle of the Java Sea was the big news this week. When an Allied fleet that's pretty much exactly the same size as a Japanese fleet meets the Japanese fleet and the Allied fleet is completely destroyed. I don't mean that they have to run away and they're, they're injured. I mean, they're all sunk. The Japanese like sank, sink all of them, except for three American destroyers that managed to escape. And this is the tie for that week, right? Um, you might say, well, what does this tie have to do with the Battle of the Java Sea? Well, do you remember when you were in college um, and sometimes there would be like, you'd have like some of the hippier courses, they might have West African dance or something. Um, and we had like Javanese gamelan, like one of the two gamelans in the Western Hemisphere at the time, Wesleyan in the late 1980s when I went to college. And I didn't take any gamelan courses, but people would take gamelan. And that was, you know, Javanese. And this is the Java Sea. And the gamelan was, it's a musical instrument, it takes like 32 people to play. And this tie, took like 32 people to design. And this is one of only two um, Javanese ties like this in the Western Hemisphere, just like the Gamelon at Wesleyan University in the 1980s. You're probably wondering where I was going with that, aren't you? Weren't you? Well, yeah, to be honest, so was I. <laughs> but this is the tie that celebrates Java. It celebrates the colors of Java. I mean, come on, if you went to Java, you'd see all these. We Look at the... If you go through the Indian War of Independence uh, miniseries, which we did on Time Ghost, which was super Indonesian. good. Indonesian. What did I say? Indian. And no, we haven't done that. <laughs> if you go through the Indonesian... If you go through the Indonesian War of Independence, you'll see a lot of, a lot of colorful South Seas things. And this celebrates Japan completely and utterly destroying the Abda fleet. And Nicola, Nicola Adriano made this time. Nicola Adriano was the Indonesian Minister of Defense in the early 1950s. Um, and it was just before, it was just, it was just before he, he started working with fabrics and working with dyes. Um, and eventually, you know, when he, when, he, when he retired in 1958, when Suharto was coming to power, he, uh, he worked, began working with textiles and making his series of ties that celebrated Java and the Java Seas. And this tie is the result. All right. They, they are, those are ships breaking up. This is what this is what uh, Nicola Adriano, uh, former Indonesian Minister of Defense, designed. These are the ships breaking up in the South Java Sea. It, it's really amazing, actually. It's, a, it's it's now no no no. It symbolizes blood. It's not real blood. So I don't know what he used for his dyes. Okay, this is a long video. Um, but anyhow, Nicola had an interesting career before he was a oh minister. <laughs> okay, 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 fine, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 